Okay, so I have recently um, mentioned on Facebook and I don't know if I sent an article on it too, but um, erasing genetic weaknesses. So what I know about it is some research from Bruce Ames, University of California, Berkeley. He's a PhD, he's like 80 years old. 80, 80 years old. And um, he has documented, last time I checked, 50 plus different genetic weaknesses that he has identified by looking at the rate of enzymatic shifting, the enzymatic metabolism. So the analogy or the simple explanation of that is the guy in high school who's 120 pounds and can drink 14 beer and he doesn't get sick versus the person who has two beers and they get lightheaded and have to go to bed. So he describes that that enzyme is how quickly something processes in your body, either making it or breaking it down. And if we remember the bell-shaped curve, that is kind of the system of averages. Averages right in the middle, and then you have high performance out here, which is going to be a smaller percentage of people, and then low performance out here. And those are our genetic weaknesses. So. We can identify, um, and with kinesiology, we can do this really easy versus doing some, you know, really expensive, fancy lab test genetic analysis. Um, so we take a stressor, in this case we already found this, so it's a heavy metal, and we find the weakening reaction, and it's very clear then how we'll scan for the genetic weakness, and, and really, you can just pretty much count on that you have a genetic weakness. And so it's gonna to be to your benefit to identify which, um, what's going to help that get back to a more average. And I'll finish that explanation in a sec. So here's the uh, myriad of B vitamins that we use to, to check this. And so we're just scanning um, if that's a possibility. And then we found it was folic acid that negated. Now you can see how much more pressure. So she's strong. So the enzymes that um, function to create the pace of making something or breaking it down are accompanied by a B vitamin. So he found that if you apply the right B vitamin, you can basically go from bell-shaped curve, low function, to average. And if we just apply that basic information, I just wonder how much of the genetic uh, factor, it's, it's such a simple process, how much of the genetic factors that we see can be completely erased just by um, his research.